The Christ who will return will not be like the Christ who apparently departed. He may reappear in a totally unexpected guise. Who is to say whether he will come as a politician, an economist, a leader of the people arising from the midst of them, a scientist or an artist? Please watch on for our multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet. Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 63, Alice Bailey on the Reappearance of the Christ. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the Divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Concerning the highly anticipated return of Lord Jesus Christ, the 20th century mystical British-born author Alice Bailey stated that the reappearance of Christ is imminent. This she asserted in the late 1940s at the time of writing her book titled The Reappearance of the Christ. She also said that despite the crises our world faces, a set of unique factors would allow for him or her to come at this time in history. We examine these factors or conditions as they might relate to the present-day spiritual mission of Supreme Master Ching Hai. First of all, he will come to a world which is essentially one world. His reappearance and his consequent work cannot be confined to one small locality or domain unheard of by the great majority, as was the case when he was here before. The radio, the press, and the dissemination of news will make his coming different to that of any previous messenger. Etc. The swift modes of transportation will make him available to countless millions, and by boat, rail and plane, they can reach him. Etc. Through television, his face can be made familiar to all, and verily, every eye shall see him. The sensitivity of the people of the world to what is new or needed is also uniquely different. Man has progressed far in his reaction to both good and evil and possesses a far more sensitive response apparatus than did humanity in those earlier times. Men are more inquiring, better educated, more intuitive and more expectant of the unusual and the unique than at any other time in history. Etc. Our world has become more civilized and more intelligent. You know, the, the level of, of acceptance of people, this world has gone up higher. So um, this is not so barbarous like in the older time. And also the communication technique nowadays is, is more advanced so people can be able to, you know, trace and learn and study about somebody 
about what he or she does instead of just uh, hearing reporting from the bad people or the enemies and then killing innocent uh, masters like Jesus, for example. Nowadays, we are more intelligent. We are not as barbarous. More technology, we are more advanced and more civilized and more scientifically minded. Because I respect you very much, therefore I use wisdom, I use logic to appeal to your wisdom, to your logic, so that you might get higher in your understanding and not just clinging to these physical phenomena such as miracles. Miracle doesn't make a person holy, that is for sure. Hmm? You will know my miracles in time. If you are sincere, if you have a higher ideal. Dạ thưa sư phụ, hồi ở trại cấm á, em một số đồng có cái vị đồng tu ấy vị ra nấu ăn á, nấu ăn chay, thế rồi bữa hôm mới vị chiên bánh, chiên chiên bánh hay là cái dầu á, nó nó bắn vào mặt vị, xong nó có một cái vết thẹo dài lắm. Hồi, hồi đó sư phụ vô trại thăm á, thấy sư phụ mới vỗ vỗ bà má và vị cái vụ của nấu ăn hở cưng, thấy cái mặt đẹp như này vị thẹp về thẹo hả, thế rồi mất tiêu cái thẹo luôn. Ah,在充电的时候呢，我们那个啊呃骑车去嘛，就去坐那个轿车过去，然后那个呃在修路，路特别难走。但是现在那个师傅就派了那个七条龙七条龙也一直跟着我们的车走完了前程我们的路就非常顺利还有那个师兄开了九个小时都没休息我们问他累不累他说不累后来那个看得到的师姐就说你当然不累了我看到师傅
for the discussion and study of human welfare and liberation. This phenomenon is one of the strongest indications that the Christ is on his way. He is the embodiment of freedom and the messenger of liberation. He stimulates the group spirit and the group consciousness. Etc. and his spiritual energy is the attractive force binding men together for the common good. His reappearance will knit and bind together all men and women of goodwill throughout the world, irrespective of religion or nationality. We are global, we are not just one nation, all nation is connecting together. That's the beauty of Supreme Master. The solution is not purely technical, it has to be ethical and spiritual. And it's what, certainly, the Supreme Master Shin Hai also promotes. Shin Hai, Wu Sang Si, Wu Jie Che, and that's why we are going to thank you very much. Thank you. من هاد المنبر كنبغي نشكر الجمعيه واكثر شيء المعلمه الثقه اللي عطات اللي عطات الابتكار والثقه اللي عطاتني وان شاء الله غنطمحوا اننا نمشيو لقدام ونزيدوا نساعدوا نساعدوا البيئه ديالنا والعالم ديالنا ان شاء الله Pita Asia greatly admires the Supreme Master for spreading the vital philosophy of kindness and non-violence to all human or not we especially love that the Supreme Master is responsible for millions of people around the world becoming vegan. Together, working together, all of us are an unstoppable force for the animals. Master Ching Hai is a, is a, is a shining example of, of, of what we're capable of being and doing as, as human beings. We wish to express our sincere gratitude to uh, Master Ching Hai. In collaboration, we can help move this planet forward. etc. Faithful viewers, we'll return after a brief message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.
Tolerant viewers, welcome back to our program. Alice Bailey urged us to think beyond traditional depictions to get a truer picture of the modern savior, or in her words, the living, working, active, present Christ. He may appear as an Englishman, a Russian, an African, a Latin, a Turk, a Hindu, or any other nationality. Who can say which? He may be a Christian or a Hindu by faith, a Buddhist, or of no particular faith at all. He may reappear in a totally unexpected guise, who is to say whether he will come as a politician, an economist, a leader of the people arising from the midst of them, a scientist or an artist. Etc. Jesus did not come down for the first time or the last time. Jesús no bajó la primera ni fue por la última vez que estuvo entre nosotros. He said he would come back again. Dijo, volveré. He might already did. Puede haber vuelto. 
Just how do we recognize him? ¿Cómo vamos a reconocerle? Does he necessarily grow a bear like last time? ¿Va a tener necesariamente que lucir barba como la última vez? Does he necessarily walk bare feet like last time? ¿Tendrá que caminar con los pies descalzos como lo hizo la última vez? Does he necessarily wear the ragged clothes the way he wore last time? ¿Irá con esas vestiduras en harapos que lucía la última vez? No. No. He should not. No debe. He must not. No debe. Now Jesus, if he comes down, he has to be Ahora, good looking. Si viene, tiene que ser guapo. Modernized. Moderno. Wealthy, healthy. Eh, con salud, con éxito, rico. Go limousine. Con una limousine. Etc. Etc. That is if he came back as a man es, at all. Si volviere, si volviere asumiendo la forma de un hombre, si fuese un hombre, un varón. He might choose to incarnate in a, a lady body or in Podría estar dentro de un different cuerpo de nationalities, mujer, yes. De diferentes nacionalidades. Christ who will return will not be like the Christ who apparently departed. He will not be a silent, pensive figure. He will be the enunciator of spiritual statements which will not necessitate interpretation and receive the wrong interpretation because he will be present to indicate the true meaning. We have to look for a present master who can answer your question, help you when you are in doubt and uh, take you by the hand. <laughs> back to the kingdom of God. We need a person-to-person -person contact. Can you please clarify what you mean when you say we are children of God and that we are all God? We are created in the image of God. And that's all there is. Did my explanation make you more clear about things? Yes, yes it did. I feel like I make progress in daily life, mm. but not in spiritual no. practice. Like I don't have much uh, inner experience. I should keep doing my duty every day. It's good. That means you, you don't waver. That means you inside, your soul must have something. Understand? Otherwise, you wouldn't want to continue. You see, your soul, your heart, your mind feel satisfied with what you're doing. Have food, you see? Spiritual food. And you feel happier now, you feel more contentment and more loving, more kind. That is something from inside that come out, you see? He comes to correct the mistakes and the misrepresentations of those who have dared to interpret his simple words in terms of their own ignorance. In the Bible, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It is an exclusive claim. It's only one way to God is through Jesus and not many ways. Fine. And where is he now? I want to go with him and through him. If he is the only way, tell him to stay here and never move. If he moved away, how can I go? If he's the only way and he's gone. He says one more sentence besides that, you forgot. I am the light and the way of the world as long as I am in the world. But if, if he was a vegetarian, why did Jesus pass out fish on the Sermon of the Mount? <laughs> I have been asked many times, yes. Now, the present Bible is translated from the ancient Greek version, yeah? Jesus okay. fed the masses, loved the bread with uh, obsarum. Obsarum uh, could be translated as condiment, uh, you know, relish, or uh, as fish. So it is possible to say that uh, he fed them bread and a company condiment for taste, you see? 
Just like when we eat bread, we don't just eat bread alone, you know. Sometimes we put salt and pepper or <laughs> vinegar and, uh, and salt, something like that. If the Lord were to eat fish, why would He tell His first twelve disciples to forsake fishing and follow Him to fish men instead? Yeah. If He wants to eat fish, He would say, Oh, please, continue with your job and, and give me fish every day, you know. <laughs> he said, Go and I teach you to fish men. You see, such an important job to do the fishing. If uh, Jesus were to condone this practice, then he would have not uh, tell them to forsake their, their job, forsake their profession and follow him. What are other distinguishing signs of the Messiah? We'll find out when our series continues. Thank you, serene viewers, for joining us today. Don't miss the next part of our series as we continue exploring Alice Bailey's predictions about the most precious return of the Christ in our times.